This is the Family Research Council headquarters here in Washington, D.C. Hi, I'm Tony Perkins, and I'm standing in the Witherspoon Training Room, named for Dr. John Witherspoon, the only ordained pastor to sign the Declaration of Independence. As you consider the various qualifications of the candidates vying for your vote in the upcoming elections, don't forget one of the most important qualifications, and that is character. History has proven that a leader's public policies, their decisions, most often grow out of private beliefs and behavior. Jesus set forth this principle in Matthew 7, 17 when he said this. He said, every good tree produces good fruit, but a bad tree, well, it produces bad fruit. In other words, the root determines the fruit. The candidate's beliefs and behavior, his character, will determine his policies and his decisions. Based on that belief, Dr. Witherspoon said this, he said, quote, the people in general ought to have regard to the moral character of those whom they invest with authority, either in the legislative, executive, or judicial branches. The scriptures are clear about the results. Proverbs 29 verse 2 says this, it says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked rule, the people groan. Believe me, when you think about the future leaders of America, character does count. So, as you weigh the candidates, consider their moral character as you vote in the upcoming elections. Remember, how you vote today impacts tomorrow.